All right, guys, this is how you're gonna to learn to do the side splits. So what we're gonna do is, I like to have a little bench in front of me. You can use a couch, a bed frame, or box, whatever you want, anything to just deload your body weight, because it's gonna be a little difficult. But you're gonna step your feet out as wide as you can. It's better to be on a sliding surface of sorts, but it's not necessary. Okay, get as wide as you can. And then what I want you to do is to feel like you're trying to squeeze your legs together so you can feel your groin, these adductor muscles. Fire, we'll go about five to 10 seconds of a hard contraction. Then we relax and we let it go a little deeper, all right? We're gonna hang out here from anywhere between one to two minutes. Feel free to go longer than that if you like, or go less. If it's just a little hard for you to do right now, progress your way up there. We also have this bench here to deload some of my body weight. That's gonna make life a little easier for us as we're trying to hold this position. All we're trying to do is introduce this range of motion to our groin and our hips and our pelvis, right? So trying to feel all these muscles, understanding that they can do their job in this extreme range. You can stand here, try to stand upright, squeeze your glutes, feel it out. Feel the new motion that you're creating in this movement and just go as long as you can doesn't matter where you have to start, but this is going to really help your hip flexibility. Like I said, I've been doing it for about a minute when I warm up. You can add weight. Long term, we're going to start showing you how to do good mornings from this position. So that's your side split variation. If you need any more questions answered on that, message me at Unbridled Strength on Instagram, and I'll see you in the next video.